Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. My name is Lorenda and I'm so grateful to have you here. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. So today we are going to be making personalized photo keychains and we're going to do it two ways. All right. So what I'm using, I have these acrylic circles and I got these from Amazon. These happen to be two inches each. I have some clear transparent vinyl. I have some pictures that I cut off using Cricut print and cut. And I also have my UV resin. And I'm just going to turn that upside down, let it start sinking to the bottom. All right, so super easy with these. So I'm going to put one picture on each side. And I'm going to just take off my little backing here. I'm going to do this on both. Now, you can buy these. I got these on Amazon, if I didn't say that. And you can buy these with the hole already in them if you're doing a keychain. I did not buy these with the hole in them because I was getting them for pop sockets. So I will have to put a hole in them. So I'm just going to line this up. Make sure it's all on there nicely. Now, I didn't feel like walking in the house and getting any, but just so you know, if you have a hard time lining these up, the method that I use with wax paper to, to do um, multiple layers, you could also use that same method to line these up and make it easier on yourself. All right, so I'm going to turn them over. All right, so there's that. Now we're gonna do these two ways and you can see how quick this is. So this one, this is my transparent vinyl. And again, I gotta be just really careful. All 
All right, so now this is ready. I could just put the hole in. Now, if this was one that had a hole in it already, I would just take my little thing and put it through. But this, so you can see, you don't have to worry about it getting wet. It's got the permanent clear vinyl on it. And it's perfect. No problem. So if you don't want to use resin or epoxy, you can do this and it's perfect. Now, this one, we're going to just put a little, re put a little bit of UV resin on it. Gonna make sure I have no bubbles. All right, so this is done, and I went ahead and did the back side too, and now, on this one, I wasn't paying attention when I put my um, my little pictures on. So, I got one this way and one this way. I mean, it's not going to matter. I'm not denying any pictures of these cute little babies regardless. But this one, I paid attention and I put this one here and this one here. So, here are the two. So, they both, you know, they both are nice. This one's, you know, a little bit harder, definitely rounder. But... This one works out really nice also. This takes all of two minutes. You know, this one, because I did UV resin, you know, maybe 15, including your time for drying, you know, under the light. Um, now, again, like I said, you can get these with the holes in them. These, I didn't get the holes in them so I'm gonna have to put a hole in them I have this little drill that I got from Amazon I got some key rings these particular ones came from Hobby Lobby and then I've got some split rings here so I'll pull two of those out so it don't mind me, I can't bend my finger very well. My elderly dog, this is why, so I actually started this yesterday and I had to come back today and finish it. I was gonna put it up yesterday, but I had to stop because, so you guys know I have the two puppies and then I have my Chloe who, um, she's now going on 15, she's a Wheaton. So that's really, really, really elderly for a, a Wheaton. They're usually like 10 to 12 years. And she's not in any pain, but she is definitely getting extremely confused. And sometimes she gets very confused. And I was trying to, she was walking into the wall and I was trying to get her to show her where her food bowl was. And when she gets confused, I think she gets scared because she forgets what every body thing, everything is. So she's gotten to where now she just like, like, full-blown attack mode if if she's in a super confused state so I was trying to you know direct her over to where her food bowl was and she bit me so my finger is quite swollen and um I can't really bend it I think that it's just intercellular fluid in the under the tissue because it doesn't really seem to be infected. So I think that it's just intercellular fluid. I just have to keep an eye on it. It's not even, you know, 24 hours old right now. So we'll see. Anyway, so long story, but don't mind me. That's, you know, that's why it's a little weird for me handling things. So sorry for that. 
All right, so now I'm going to have to put a little hole in these. I just want to make sure I don't go into any of their little heads. And so this is a nice little tool. Um, I don't remember now how much it was, but it was super inexpensive and it just has this turn it on. And I chose to put my hole kind of there to the side so it sort of hangs over to the side, make sure that it doesn't get either of the baby's heads. And you see, even the one with all the thick resin, it goes through super easy. So since I had this drill, that's why I chose to buy these without the hole in them, because it makes it easy if I want to use them for bad drills or uh, phone grips. But then I can, I knew that I could easily, you know, put a hole in them if I needed to. Yeah, I wasn't realizing that these were the ones with these little double pieces like this. So I'm actually not going to, I'm going to get some different ones. I'm going to go to gold instead of the silver just because I couldn't quickly find little silver rings. Now with these rings, I personally like to, um, when I put them in, when I close them, I like to either put super glue or a little UV resin. And then of course, if you want, you can put stuff on here. Like, I mean, you could put a little like tassel or you know, whatever it is that you want, you can put on here. So here is this one. And like I said, I like to put something here just to, you know, keep this from coming undone. So I'll do that. And then we have this one. Now, if you want to put a tassel or some sort of charm on here, of course you can do that too. But for these like this, I just personally don't like to, especially when I do the keychain that has the clip on it. I feel like it just gets to be like too much, you know? And then also, you know, for me, I already did it too. I like to put either a piece of super glue or resin right there where the little hook is just to keep things from coming apart. So I did that on both of these. And these turned out super cute. So this is the one with resin and you could also do this with epoxy and then this is the one just using the transparent vinyl so this is a permanent clear vinyl sorry my finger it's a little hard for me to hold them but yeah, so these turned out really cute. Both ways works super good. I love both ways. It really just depends on, you know, what you like. So this one's, you know, a little bit thicker, a little bit shinier. This one's a little bit thinner and a little matte. They're both very thin because the resin is not, you know, heavy at all. So yeah, but they turned out very cute. Anyways, I hope it was helpful. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, friends, and I'll see you later. Bye.